Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday, August the 9th. After dinner and relax and stuff, I'm going to work on um, my Quietomic. My Quietomic, that's what I've named it. I first said Kawaiitomic, but I thought later, you know, Quietomic would be better. The shorter, the better, right? Quietomic um, illustrations. In other words, it's Kawaii plus Atomic. Um, illustrations in an atomic retro style. I came up with that idea a couple days ago and I thought oh oh that would be just so adorable. I do love kawaii. Um, I'm not a kawaii artist um, but I think almost any artist can be a kawaii artist and do their own version. Uh, so I believe that's what I'm doing with mine. So real quick, um, I'm sure you've noticed in my last couple blogs the my ceiling fan. Hovering over in the background and the noise. And um, if you go back to my two vlogs, you can really notice it. I noticed that it's more prevalent when I use my uh, vlogging camera. So the... I did purchase, um, or did it come with, no, did, I did purchase this one, this microphone that I have on my vlogging camera. I'll take a picture of it and post it here. When um, I bought the microphone, it also came with this wind thingy. What do you call it? The cutest button. I'm hoping that putting that on will help deter the sound of my ceiling fan. So let's cross our fingers and pray that that it works. I apologize for the sound. The more I watch those vlogs, the more um, annoyed I get by the sound and it bothers me and I wish um, I had thought about this before whether this works or not using the fuzzy wind thing. Um, I don't know. We'll see but I hope it does because it gets warm in here and I don't want to use my AC. I'm very stubborn about that. Um, I use my AC maybe in the late afternoon uh, like around four o'clock five o'clock and it's rare that I'm in the studio that late only because I eat an early dinner so I'm usually cooking between two and three so once I'm done with dinner I don't come in back into the studio thanks for your patience and thanks for your understanding I pulled out the manual for my Jaden's thermal label printer because I need to know how to hook it up to my phone or iPad because I'm getting ready to make a label it's got a QR code for me to scan. Add a printer to get started. Connect to Bluetooth. Jaden's printer, would you like to use Bluetooth? Okay. Seven. I finally got it to pull up on my phone under the Jaden's printer. So now, friends, this is it. I guess I gotta push connect. Okay, here we go. I see a light flashing. Yay! Came out perfect, friends. Good job, Jaden. Looks good, too. Get it ready to send off, so yay. I'm so happy, so happy. Dexter and I are gonna go to the dog park and play some ball. Come join us. You ready, Bubba? You wanna go play ball? We're gonna go play soccer ball with the gigantic, ginormous tennis ball. He loves this. He gets a good workout. Um, he loves to play soccer. He's a great soccer player. And um, I'm gonna get his leash on here. Yeah. He's ready. Let's go.
boy. You feel better, huh? Okay, time to go take a nap. Time to go lay down and rest. So here are the Quitomic illustrations that I pencil sketched the other evening. This little rocket ship is one of my favorites. He's so cute. So I'm gonna take a picture of this first and then send it to my iMac and then I'm gonna enter them into uh, Affinity Designer which is a vector program and that's how I'm going to create um, these images with my with the vector programs. Um, I like using the vector program especially when I have some line art to work with because um, it just makes all the line art so uh, perfectly perfect. Okay I'm gonna pull out my Wacom little tablet. We're gonna go ahead and start creating a little Mr. Rocket.
Hurry. Hi friends, it is Monday, August the 14th. I made me a strong espresso coffee. I really need it. I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm trying not to fall asleep while I'm working. But it's got strong coffee with a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of hot cocoa, um, not hot cocoa, cocoa powder and some almond milk and hopefully this will keep me up but I hope it doesn't keep me up tonight I have to be very careful um, of my caffeine intake and um, I've made a rule that I don't drink caffeine after one o'clock every day I mean it used to be uh, later in the day back when I was younger but it seems the older I get, I keep moving up the time. And so now it's one o'clock. And um, I remember I used to be able to drink coffee after dinner and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. But I can't do that anymore. Otherwise, um, I'll go straight to sleep at first, but then I'll wake up at midnight and toss and turn for three hours. And that's not good. So gotta be careful with my caffeine. But anyway, I do need that this morning because I am trying not to fall asleep. So, okay, let's finish these backings. I'm watching, um, oh, what's her name? Laurel May Art. She draws the cutest little characters. I think she's a kawaii artist. Right now she's doing something kawaii-ish. But, um, anyway, I, I enjoy her vlogs as well. I'll leave her contact info below, like I do with everybody else.
I have now completed um, my Etsy Christmas list items that i am been working on for the past couple weeks so let's see I need to um, mark off what I just finished which was the backing for the army stickers so let's go all the way down here everything's been done including the backing so all these are done whole thing is done I'm done with Christmas for now. Watching a new vlogger, Olivia Omoa. She's got adorable illustrations. I am printing out a copy of my Quitomics. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one again just to make sure they're all cohesive before I transfer them to a sticker sheet. So. Let's do this. Well, I am done tweaking all my illustrations, all my Quitomic illustrations, and now I'm going to open up Silhouette Studio and start making, designing a sticker sheet with my illustrations. really making progress on these sticker sheets um, but here they are now I'm getting ready to print them and then cut them I'm going to print them on a uh, vinyl paper and then before I cut them I'm going to put a laminate coating over them uh, which is just a laminate uh, sheet and then I'll um, I'll cut them with my silhouette cutting machine but 
That's two sheets side by side. Aren't they adorable? I'm really pleased the way they're coming out. They're printed out on vinyl. I'm very pleased. I just love the way vinyl prints out. The colors are vibrant and smooth. But we're not done yet. Self-adhesive laminate. so cute. Vinyl and laminated. Kiss cut. Okay, one sheet is for me. Let's see how easy they come out. Oh my gosh. Easy. Oh no, it went. No, I cut too deep. You know, I still have to separate. I can still separate them and then it'll come out, but. Here we go. Wow. They look good. So good. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to put these all over the place, huh? Oh no, aliens. Oh, there's aliens. Okay, back to the drawing board. I'm gonna print and cut out some more. And this time, uh, lower the blade. So these will be, uh, this will be seconds, or these will be mine. That's okay, they still work, they still come out. Um, it's just when they're cut, kiss cut appropriately, um, they won't give you any problems when you're peeling them off the sheet, but other than that, look how nice they came out. Strong and sturdy, and they'll last you longer because they are vinyl. So my, um, Kiss Cut stickers covered in laminate did not work out. I struggled through so much, made such a big mess, wasted, oh goodness. I don't know how much vinyl paper and laminate sticker paper. None of these, none of these work. None of these. Um, it's not peeling off right. It, either I cut too deep or I didn't cut enough. So um, I'm trying to cut these sheets into kiss cut stickers and they are um the cutest sticker sheets but and and they're uh, they're all, they're ta they're um i can't even talk friends i'm sorry this is printed on vinyl 
and then with the coating of laminate. Um, and I can't make cut, kiss cut stickers out of these and I want to so bad but it, I've tried and tried and tried and for some reason my silhouette will not uh, do it right. But my silhouette will make die cut stickers which I just made um, out of this sheet. So um, it just cut them. Let me go ahead and start taking them out and I'll show you how it does work with die cuts. So see, oh this is too dark isn't it? Let's just turn around. <sighs> okay. So this is a die cut. In other words, it will cut through the laminate and the vinyl paper and make die cuts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these into, I'm going to make the vinyl laminate ones into die cuts. But I am going to make sticker sheets, but they're only going to be come out on glossy paper. So um, not all is uh, being thrown out and i um, been able to figure it out what I can do and um, I am happy the way they're, they're coming out as die cuts anyway they're so cute oh look at that so oh my goodness these are so cute they're a lot bigger than what was what they were going to be on the sticker sheet so the sticker sheet ones, like I said, are going to be in glossy paper, and those will come out fine. My, my silhouette will cut those, but for some reason, I cannot get my silhouette to make kiss cut stickers out of the vinyl laminate um, stickers. I absolutely love him. I think he's my favorite. Shh, don't tell the others. So with um, all my die cuts, I went ahead and created a little tab that sticks out. If you can see it there, this thing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my razor blade or my X-Acto knife and just very gingerly uh, make a cut and that way, when the person who purchased these um, goes to peel it off, peel, peel it off, they don't have to struggle trying to find the right um, place to separate the sticker from the back sheet. Um, all they have to do is just bend this little tab down just a wee bit, and then they can grab the, the sticker off very easily and uh, peel it off without any issues, without any problems. So each each die cut sticker is going to come with this little tab. Well, it's another new morning. It is seven. No, it's just a little bit after seven. Wednesday, August the sixteenth, and um, when I went to make. Uh, some more stickers yesterday um, my cameo gave up and it does that every once in a while where it's just like you know you worked me hard enough today I'm done I'm done I'm spent just uh, let's call it a day so I called it a day and so I'm back this morning to continue in making the stickers so what I'm going to do is print out the glossy stickers of my Quitomic stickers so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> 